God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Wednesday, July 26th. Today's devotional is based on Psalm 30. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up and did not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cry to you for help and you have healed me. O Lord, you brought up my soul from Sheol, restored me to life from among those gone down to the pit. Sing praises to the Lord, O his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may linger for the night, but joy comes with the morning. As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By your favor, O Lord, you have established me as a strong mountain. You hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried, and to the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my death if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it tell you of your faithfulness? Hear, O, o Lord, and be gracious to me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have taken off my sackcloth and clothed me with joy, so that my soul may praise you and not, and not be silent. O oh Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. Today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by Cheryl Kirk Duggan. When we feel God is missing in action, we lament and pray, often bewildered. We want to know where God is. Steeped in a faith, we plead for divine help and grace to help us. We experience the cycle of life related to God, from well-being to death to new life. And we're left with this question. When have you felt that God was missing in action? Let us pray. Weeping may linger for the night or even longer, but joy shall come with the morning. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional. I hope you join me again tomorrow. But until next time, whenever that may be, I pray that you remain safe and healthy. That wherever you go, whatever you do, whomever you meet, your words and actions always speak of a heart filled with love.